नमस्कार फिर पैसा बोलता है मैं आपका स्वागत है वेलकम बैक टू पैसा बोलता है टुडे इन्फोसिस रिजल्ट्स वेर आउट एक्चुअली इट वाज आउट डे बिफोर एस्टरडेज इवनिंग द मार्केट रिएक्टेड वेरी बैडली इन्फोसिस ड्रॉप टू एट परसेंट एट द बिगिनिंग मार्केट इन्फोसिस वाज अ थर्टीन नॉट फाइव एंड देन इट बूट टू थर्टीन थर्टी फाइव वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर इन्फोसिस टू फॉल सो मच आई थिंक द मार्केट हैज ओवर रिएक्टेड Infosys had already corrected to 1250, and there was nothing, no good news about in IT for the market to rally, which it did last week, pushing up all IT stocks by nearly 10 to 15 percent. The market had to give up the sum of those gains because the results were not simply good. The results were in line with expectations. Infosys Q1 results showed that net profit went up by nearly 11 percent, 10.9 to be precise. So therefore, it profit was at 5,945. Course. The rate attrition, the rate at which kids leave Infosys, had fallen. It had fallen to 17.8 percent. So this meant that the result was decent. But this result was when you compare quarter to quarter. In the same quarter last year, Infosys made 5,360 crores, but it actually grew to only. This is on quarter to quarter. Company's revenue grew up only by 4.2 percent. That is 237,933. The operating margin was stable at 20.8. So how did Infosys manage this miracle? Infosys managed this miracle by not raising salaries. Infosys has not raised salaries so far. Infosys has not onboarded people. People who are given jobs have not yet joined Infosys. This is people who have gone fresh graduates. The attrition rate, the number of people who leave Infosys, has dropped as a percentage to 17.3. Now, this is the news that really pushed down the market. The company gives you a revenue guidance for the current year. It has been brought down to 1 to 3.5 percent, from 5 to 7 percent. I think. The Infosys is being too cautious. What Infosys is going trying to say is it will be between three to five percent. It's not going to be between five to seven percent. But of course, it's given you a lower guidance so that you can surprise you on the upside later. Basically, why a large IT company based out of India, which is basically selling services, is going to grow only between three to five percent. This is a mature company. This has been around for nearly now more than twenty years. These companies cannot grow at the rate of fifteen twenty percent every quarter or every year. Mature companies definitely will grow slower. There is, though America is growing at this point of time, there is also a growing threat of recession both in America and Europe. The all our companies are basically dependent on BFSI on on America and Europe. Basically, the market is tight there, and therefore we can expect lesser new business there. So you can expect a revenue growth slowdown. Well, the actual numbers may still be positive. The growth will definitely slow down. The rupee is perennially under pressure, and the rupee will continue to be under pressure over a period of time. So we expect a depreciation of the rupee. I have recommended considering Infosys and other IT stocks at much lower level because I expect the currency to depreciate. The inflation differential between India and America is high, even though the official policy makers want us to believe that there is no inflation in India. A price. They look at the price of tomatoes and dal will tell you what is the real inflation in India. So the markets will have to catch up with reality. The company has closed large deals worth 2.3 billion during this quarter, and therefore the companies will continue to grow. So what the CFO is claiming is they have done cost optimization and operational discipline and improved productivity and higher utilization. All this is an euphemism for not increasing salaries. And since the market is very competitive in favor of the employer instead of the employee, so it is not able to uh, the employees are not leaving and therefore cost pressure is wage pressure is not there. Now they have introduced a new EA offering called Topus. But basically, now all companies are talking of AI. Is because AI is the buzzword now. The S and P 500 is where it is because of the AI boom. Seven stocks which have traditionally done well in the last two months in the S and P have all been with. Uh, AI, with the exception of Tesla, but Tesla and Netflix yesterday did not do the numbers which was ex- expected, and both those stocks corrected big time. So Infosys is hoping to enhance its service portfolio by offering AI. So basically, whatever what is happening is that the Infosys will continue to grow between three to five percent. 
and if the market improves from 5 to 8 percent it will try to spend less it will automate more in fact ai will mean that it will require lesser number of people to do the same job so the margins will remain stable between 20 and 22 percent the rupee will continue to depreciate and therefore since infosys has, is a zero debt company will continue to spew cash if and when the valuations of infosys are reasonable consider acquiring this stock in small quantities i don't think infosys has too much to fall that means i don't expect infosys to go beyond the below 1000 rupees because then it will make it an extreme value buy so one should consider it from this price in small quantities continuing to add stocks on infosys whenever the market declines what is true for infosys is true for tech mahindra hcl and tcs in these four companies you can continue to add small positions whenever the market corrects i have definitely left out wipro wipro looks most attractive of these companies but wipro is run by a owner family and therefore is trading at a discount and will continue to trade at a discount so you will not get the bounce on price which you expect from Infi or TCS or for that matter Tech Mahindra from Wipro because it is a Premji's son becomes the CEO. The CEO of the position of Wipro will always be in a revolving chair. Having said this, in every dip, the Indian IT story is a buy. Stick to large caps, stick to the largest four companies and continue to accumulate your position. Thank you for watching Paisa Bolta Hai. You have been podcast in this podcast. I am very happy to be So, you this channel ko subscribe kare is video ko like kare aap is video mein comment kare agar ye sab aapne kiya to is video ko apne apne dost ya rishtedar ke paas beje aur unko dekhne ke liye anugrah kare is video ko unko dekhne ke liye boliye dhanyawad namaskar jai hind